piece. Look at that. Ain't fast. Reflecting on uh, Dave Chappelle's new uh, show he got on Netflix. Uh, matter of fact, it's like two, uh, two different uh, shows, but it's under one uh, listing, but it's his newest work. And I can honestly say, I, I sometimes I forget that, like I always talk about mostly music when I talk about like uh, the profits moving through the music, you know, like, cause we are vibrational beings. And one of the things that, you know, that connects to us or that hits us like sorcery or like magic is music. You know, even down to uh, where you could be a high vibrational being and a low vibration song plays enough of time and you kind of vibing with it cause the vibration of music is that strong. But also I, I tend to forget about the avenue of uh, being a comedian. You know, matter of fact, I see as above, so below, or should I say, uh, I see the, the comedian as a shaman and the musical entertainers as uh, magicians, you know, because uh, comedians, they deal with the light and the dark so much. Like most of our best comedians are comedians that are being completely authentic about the way they, were, they grew up. And they are, how I spoke on like, where it's about the balance of light and dark you know what i'm saying the reason why we laughing because they go in these dark and light places you know it's not just oh let me just stay peachy and not talk about nobody and this and that you know and two we're starting to learn that balance of uh of uh peace and chaos you know or like uh just the chaos and the the quietness you know it's like that that balance you know, matter of fact, they speak on this on the uh, series, The Magicians. And a lot of videos and cartoons have been speaking on this, though. Is that balance uh, where they got two brothers. One brother, our God, is uh, more about the chaos. The other God is more about the quietness and peacefulness. But it's about bringing both of them together, you know, and that balance. But uh, Dave Chappelle, uh, new stand-up. If, if you haven't seen it, please go see it because... I tell people the the way we are having to uh, how my brethren say ninja these messages out. So you gotta be stealthy with the way you deliver, you know, high vibrational information because uh, you know, with society being dumbed down for so long, everybody mostly operating off of the reptilian brain. So it, whatever it is you're delivering to to the people, it gotta grab their attention, or otherwise they're just gonna fall out of it. That's why like uh, a lot of my videos. In essence, once they go, like I got a lot of videos that go past 20 minutes and that's where people get lost, you know, they don't really want to listen to nothing past that timing. But anyway, uh, the brethren did some light and dark work as far as like where he would have a, a joke where it would seem completely dark, where he would probably make a little uh, joke about uh, transgender or make a little joke about uh, racist white people or make a little joke about just any little thing. And then as he doing it, come back in full circle and bring us all together with it. Like he would make the joke, but then like, but I ain't got nothing against nobody and we shouldn't, you know, shouldn't have nothing against each other. And also seeing how the energy of his stand-up comedy is the energy that's hitting us all right now. We're all realizing, bruh, this is a little duality game. Now it's time for us to wake up and come together and respect the, the basically the balance of uh, knowing that we are one, but at the same time respecting each other's unique vibration, you know what I'm saying? Live and let live, you know what I'm saying? If somebody want to do this, if somebody want to, uh, whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, respecting it, but like, he definitely did some shaman work, and I, I suggest everybody should definitely watch that, uh, stand-up. It's like a must-watch. I, I, I compared it to the equivalent of, like, a Martin Luther King and Malcolm X speech in the essence of, like, he just went in those places. He just did some alchemy, man. He just went in those dark places and pulled everybody out to a, a place of light. You know, it's brilliant. And, and with, com with comedy and comedians in general, for them to just sit in front of a big crowds of people with their poise and deliver this type of vibration, these types of messages. But like, uh, he went from speaking on to the stuff that's going on now in Hollywood with the rape and all that getting exposed and making a comparison or uh, talking about how, uh, what happened for him to leave the Chappelle show, but he used an analogy, you know, which was great, but definitely something to watch. And also just again, speaking on how, you know, with the entertainment, 
whether it's uh, comedy, music, all these things, it still uh, uses spiritual warfare platforms, you know. In fact, I think of two of Eddie Griffin, not so long ago, had a uh, stand-up where he talked about uh, the pyramids and stuff like that, you know, in which that was the type of information which he never really spoke on before, but all these types of things are coming out. But it's definitely, uh, you know, some spiritual alchemy going on. On that, uh, matter of fact, Dave Chappelle's uh, stand-up is uh, on Netflix. Definitely should watch. And again, you'll see how he just brings, you know, where, like, even jokes were, and two, he even calls people out on things. And I don't want to get, get to a uh, spoiler alert a little bit, but, like, where he's like, uh, America is getting so brittle, like, you can't even make a damn joke no more, you know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's like, ooh, they can't hear this, or you can't say shit no more, you know? <laughs> and, and, and that's the thing, even cursing and stuff and not feeling no kind of way, but, uh, it's like, you can't even say nothing no more. And then after he say that and everybody laughing, and what's funny, like, you know, everybody laughing, like, yeah, you're right, man, you can't say nothing no more. And then, so he goes to saying something that's very strong and then showing the crowd, like, because then the crowd kind of, you could hear, like, when the crowd is not, like, what's up, a little too dark at first from, so everybody not too laugh, you know, it, uh, how can I say, not laughing too much about the situation. So right after he talks about how everybody got brittle ears, he proves the point by making a joke that everybody's like, you know, like, uh, you know, kind of on the fence about. And then he kind of brings it back in the full circle where he uh, extends it and makes it funny and brings it to light, you know. So definitely something to uh, watch. And to all the entertainers, the future entertainers and future comedians, you know, take heed to the people that came before, like the... Uh, you know, the Kendrick Lamar right now, the Michael Jacksons, uh, uh, comedy, uh, Richard Pryor, you know, the Eddie Murphys, the Dave Chappelle, but like all these people who, you know, bring out these situations of darkness to the light and use comedy and entertainment to basically do spiritual alchemy and help us do spiritual alchemy within our own being, you know, so definitely important. Peace. Happy now. Now with the vibe of course. Not going too far in the future. Not going too far in the past. Right now.